Hello everyone, it's Big Seller. This video is about how to mess up the mapping relationship between merchant's queues and stock's queues. Now let's hit inventory and select merchant's queues. If you don't have merchant's queues before, you can click add merchant's queues or simply upload your merchant SKUs. Now I will upload my merchant SKU. Click import merchant SKU and click here. Hit confirm. Now you can see my merchant SKUs are uploading successfully. Hit close. These are merchant SKUs that I just upload. Now let's mess up the mapping relationship between these merchant SKUs and store SKUs. Just hit import mapping store SKUs and download a template first. Here we need to put in the merchant queues, stock name, name and store queues. For the merchant queues, uh, we can copy here and paste it. Or we can just select it, then download select it. Here we can just copy this merchant queues and paste it on our form. And here is for store queues. Here is the stock nickname, just copy and paste to the form. You can also check the stock nickname from the settings and integrations, just like this. Now let's fill out the form. I will show you the form that I have finished before. This is for merchant's queues and here is the stock nickname. As you know, one merchant's queues can map with different store queues. And if you want to map different store queues to a say merchant's queues, you need to enter the merchant's queues in each line just like this. Then enter the store queues. After finish the form, just upload it to Big Seller. Now I have successfully uploaded my form and let's check if I have mapped the merchant queues and stock queues successfully. Just click here to check the mapping relationships. Now you can see that I successfully mapped them. That's all about today's video and thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. Goodbye and have a nice day.